Nearly two years is a long time to be on the shelf. Waiting, wondering, worrying. The Bulldogs finally got a chance to take the field tonight after 22 months away. That's enough. But they get Glenver, a solid playoff team, so a measuring stick for sure. Our own Eric Johnson spent the evening in Martinsville to see the Bulldogs return firsthand. Eric. Hey, Appy, as I mentioned earlier in the day, this is one of those unpredictable match matchups, which is why we chose it for the game of the week. Martinsville hadn't been on the field in 22 months. Glimmer coming in with a lot of steam. It was certainly setting up to be a great one there. Let's get you out to the highlights down in Southside tonight. We got the band coming on through. And yes, here they are. Those Bulldogs, always pesky and they're always scrappy. It showed early in the game. Check this out. Glimmer driving. But look at all the Bulldogs. We got a pack of them there. Getting to the ball there for the tackle for loss. However, Kyle Hanks and the Highlanders bounce back. Look at this. The stretch run for the touchdown takes a hit at the end. Nonetheless, he scored. It's a 6-0 Glenver lead. Bulldogs come right back. Ray Dickerson on the keeper. Skirts the sidelines, and he would go on to score. Bulldogs on the board. They take the 7-6 lead. Highlanders back at it. They had a starting quarterback that was a freshman tonight. Eli Taylor rolled out. Dumped one to Jackson Swanson. Off to the races for that touchdown. They had an 18-7 lead at halftime. Coach Martin trying to keep his guys in this one. Second half, they had momentum, but the option play goes awry here. It's a fumble. Aiden Custer recovers for Glimmer. They go on to win 25-7 after Taylor hits Dawson Anderson in stride for a late 17-yard score. Started a freshman quarterback. I mean, you know, we didn't want to use our quarterback because he's a little dinged up. And uh, I, I, he played really well. I was really proud of our kids just kind of hanging in there. Whether in that that big play, you know, we, we just kind of kept plugging and we're fortunate, really, to be honest. We've never really played them before, but I think we played good, executed on offense, defense, and everything, man. They definitely got some athletes. You got to contain them. But we contained them pretty well, and that's what happened. And that certainly was the case tonight. Coach Kevin Clifford said earlier in the week, I don't care how long it's been since Martinsville has played. They're always scrappy. They have a lot of athletes to get after it. They certainly showed a valiant effort tonight. Didn't quite show on the scoreboard, but a big shout out to the Martinsville Bulldogs. And hey, all feels well with the Bulldogs back on the field.